What's up? It's Reincarnate. We are live at the mid tonight. I am sitting here with Jay. How are Hi you? Hi guys. I'm good. Thank you. How was your trip here? Uh, it was good. It was. Uh, we had we had, didn't have any delay because of the snow, so we got in on time. So I'm glad to uh, to play here. So. It's your, it's your first time in Chicago? Yeah, definitely. I've been to the airport before, but that doesn't really count. So uh, now it's the first time in the city and the first time in clubs here. So How much time have you had to spend here in the city of Chicago? Uh, not a lot. We came in around the afternoon and I needed to sleep a bit because I'm still like, uh, I have a jet lag from the journey on, uh, from Holland. Ah. But um, yeah, so not, not a lot. But, uh, Where was your show prior to here? Uh, New York, actually. So, uh, yeah. It was, was a good the, night. What was the capacity for that crowd? I think around 1,500. Oh, right yeah, so yeah. It, was, uh, it, was, it, it was packed, so good show, good you're, start of the tour. You're going to love it here. People are going to be like, they're like this. You, yeah, you yeah, like yeah. This yeah, yeah I, heard, I, heard, I heard a lot of great stories about it, so a uh, nice atmosphere. It's an awesome yeah. venue. Are you guys going to tag team together at all? Or are you? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to open for Martin first, and then uh, we'll see from there. And, um, Come on, you know you're going to. I know you're gonna play your song together. I think so. Yeah, we're gonna play yeah. Wizard together, probably. So. Can you have American TV exclusive? You heard it. They're gonna do Wizard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys worked on a couple of other songs. Um, was it 404? Arrow 404, indeed. Yeah. And the registration code. Uh, Arrow 404 was released on Dorn Records uh, in early 2013. And uh, registration code we gave away for free, actually. So. Um, okay. That was a, soon a, a track that we did earlier. So. Yeah. Would you suggest that other aspiring producers do that for like give away stuff for free at first and then? Yeah, I think it's always good to uh, to get their tracks uh, exposed. Uh, like Deoro got a he released yeah the track for free and then you get a release and revealed with it after that. So you can get a lot of exposure with your with, with your tracks, and which is always good. It's always good to get your tracks out there. And, uh, also, the fans, uh, they appreciate it when you give away stuff and they, they appreciate you for it. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, so, how did you come about? How did you meet Martin? Um, through forums and stuff uh, online. And we just, it's about three years now we know each other and we really, really liked each other's music and we clicked on a musical level. And uh, yeah, we, we became friends and uh, just sometimes mess around in the studio and just. Yeah, sometimes we cr create some tracks like uh, Era 404 and Wizard, so uh, yeah. Did you always know that you wanted to, to, to make music or was this like just something that, a hobby that became? Yeah, definitely. I was around 14 when I, um, when I got introduced to the software and stuff. And at first it was a hobby. I, I, I know I, I have a lot of, I've always had a lot of affection with music. So, and I started doing it as a hobby, like 24-7, uh, I didn't care about school, and, uh, and then um, a couple years back I decided, wow, I can really do something with this, we, yeah. so I decided to go for it fully. So. When you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? I had absolutely no idea. You did? <laughs> no. No, I, um, I never had an idea, I finished my college, um, um, just... Uh, really having no idea where to go. I did like the, the, the I finished my school. I did everything I had to do, but I, I was like, no, I don't want a job. I want something different. So right. now, now I'm doing it. So. What did you go to college for? What was your major? Uh, it's, it's. I did a bachelor actually, only okay. a bachelor. Um, it's uh, management, economics, and law. So it's really a, a wide uh, studies. It's pretty boring. <laughs> what, what kind of software do you use? Uh, FL Studio, Fruity Loops. And uh, the plugins I, I use a lot are Silent One, uh, Nexus, and Massive. Okay. Um, yeah, this, those are definitely my favorite uh, software plugins. So. If any producers were out there and wanted to send some music to you, where, where, uh, how would they do that? jhardway.demodrop.com. So I'm checking every song. Um, the funny thing is, uh, for, uh, I can't respond to any every song. Sure. I try, but I listen to every song, so make sure you send it there. <laughs> That's awesome. Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? I have actually no idea. I want to become uh, big. I want to uh, play at a lot of festivals, uh, at the biggest festivals, and um, and just go with the flow, you know? Just uh, just hope, yeah, just hope for the best, work hard, and uh, enjoy life, especially. EDM is like everywhere right now. It's like golfing. I mean, yeah. there's like, it was like a 270% growth rate last year alone. It's what, um, 
what do you feel about do you think it's gonna you think it's good people are like oh it's gonna explode soon da, 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 da. I mean what, what it has you? already exploded so well I mean it's like it needs to be done yeah, yeah. I mean like yeah I think uh, I think it's good I think uh, it's, it's been around for so long it yes. started of course in Chicago where we're at right now yeah. And it's still, it, it, of course, it will always be evolving, mm -hmm. but the basic stuff will always be there, and that's what I think uh, will be very good. People will enjoy it. So. There's a lot of DJs in the Chicagoland area that are like, they're like all vinyl and they're like house music, da, 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 yeah. you know what I mean? They all talk about laptop DJs. What would you say to those DJs that are, you know, they're like, oh, you're spinning CJ, da da da? What? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really hard to compare, you know. I think um, I respect the vinyl DJs, of course, um, and I respect what they do and they love what they do and I'm not gonna compare myself to them or anything. So that's what I, I think they shouldn't compare us to them, maybe. It's a whole different uh, different sport. It's a different different game, you know. So, um, just I respect them and I hope they respect us and uh, just... Yeah. Are you? Did you uh, curtail your set to house music a little bit of house music tonight because you're in Chicago? Like to pay homage to them at all, or? Uh, well, I always um, um, have all kinds of music on sure. these and I try to, yeah, read the crowd and see what the guys bef before us playing and uh, react to that and um, and just I hope that my feeling is uh, <laughs> spot on and uh, just yeah, it's just intuition, uh, intuition thing. So. Have you been doing a lot of interviews? Uh, not not too many actually. Uh, yes, there are two, so that's okay. not that much on one night. So. Uh, What's your least favorite question you've had in an interview or ask you so far? Um, well, it's not, my, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not my uh, it's not my least favorite, but it's um, um, like the the questions about uh, <laughs> yeah you asked it, but it's it's not my least favorite or anything. But they always ask it. How did you um, like meet Martin? And I have to. Yeah. Say it every time, but it's 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 like not a not a uh, it's not a bad question, but I get it every time. So it's the same story. But if you could work with anybody in the industry right now, if you could collaborate with them, who would be your dream collaborations? I think uh, it's it's actually a couple guys. Uh, I love Seth stuff, of course. His melodies are insane. Yeah. Calvin Harris and Hardwell are just my. Uh, I love I love those guys. I respect them as uh, artists, as producers, and uh, they're they're next level. Yeah, I got I got to interview Marco at uh, EDC Chicago. It was awesome, funny. We, we had fireworks were going off in the background. Oh, and oh. We started talking about it being David Goetta. That's hilarious. That's and, awesome. Yeah. Um, if you want I'm gonna be interviewing him again. If you want to send him a message, if you want to send Hartwell. Yeah, Hartwell. I hope to meet you soon, man. Uh, in Holland, maybe in uh, Breda. And uh, I love what you do, so uh, I hope you're number one for a long time because you deserve it. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, we appreciate your time, man. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. For EDM America TV, I am Reincarnate. And I'm Jay Hardway.